subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell icon. Thank you. Tinibu reviews cost of APC crisis, sends message to Oshomole and the National Working Committee members. The National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, has weighed in on the recent crisis that rocked the party, exposing several issues that led to the problem. Tinibu disclosed that problems have been lingering in the party for months, especially among its leadership. He criticized the now dissolved National Working Committee, the NWC of the party, adding that order, party discipline, and mutual respect had disappeared. Permit me to read out the statement signed by his media aide, Tunde Rahman. In his word, and I quote, I wish to begin my remarks by commending members of the National Working Committee under their collective stewardship. The party earned great and important victories, not least the vital second mandate handed to President Buhari. President Buhari's victory and the all-over electoral success of APC speak highly of them. Our task as a party is to build upon the progress thus made so that both nation and party may advance to their better future. Yet, we must acknowledge that something important has gone off track. For some months, we have experienced growing disagreement within the leadership of the party. This unfortunate competition has grown so intense as to impair the performance of the National Working Committee thus undermining the internal cohesion and discipline vital to success. Some people have gone so far as to predict the total disintegration of our party. Most such their predictions were from critics whose forecasts said more about their ill, Ill will than they review about our party's objective condition. Predictions of the All Progressive Congress imminent demise are premature and mostly mean-spirited. However, an honest person must admit the party had entered a space where it had no good reason to be. The trouble is not that we won't forfeit our collective existence, but whether we were in danger of losing our collective peoples. In some ways, this possibility is of greater concern. A political party that has lost sight of the reason for its existence becomes but the vehicle of blind and clashing ambitions. This is not what drove the APC's creation. Those who believe Nigeria can be forged into a better nation and deserves good governance must harken back to the establishment of our party. Those who were there and contributed the most to the party's genesis embraced a common vision. Not only did we believe the venal, blind PDP was leading the nation into a pit, we sincerely held a common vision of the progressive good governance. This was the overriding reason for the All Progressive Congress. Those most intimately involved in, funding, in founding the party remain faithful to this beginning. Timely assignment. Sadly, Many members have lost their balance. Their personal ambition apparently came to greatly outweigh the obvious national imperatives. Even in the best of times, Nigeria is beset by myriad challenges, poverty and economic inequalities, insecurity, lack of infrastructures are long-standing obstacles that have blocked our access to the national greatness for too long. True, through no fault of our own, we now live in a moment of heightened difficulty. We did not ask for COVID-19, but it has founded us. We must deal with it and navigate its root, root economic consequences. At the same time, we must grapple with violence insecurity caused by the increasingly desperate terrorists and criminals. People need concrete help from us. We must focus on building roads and creating jobs. For the average man, watching politicians wrestle for position 
is a poor substitute to seeing politicians working for the benefits of all. Yet, such intramural fighting has come to occupy the attention of many ranking party officials and members. The National Working Committee itself has arrived by unnecessary conflict. Those who disagreed with one another stopped trying to find common ground. Attempts were made to use the power of executive authority to bury each other. I must be blunt here. This is the behavior of a fight club, not the culture of a progressive political party. Some members went against their chairman in a bid to forcefully host him. In his sight, his fence-minding his fence minding attempts were perhaps too little too, too late. I believed and continue to believe that Comrade Oshumole tried his best. Mistakes were made and he must own them. Yet, we must remember also that he was an able and enthusiastic campaigner during the 2019 election. He is a man of considerable ability, as are the rest of you who constituted the National Working Committee. It had been my hope that the disagreements could be resolved. After all, a political solution should not be beyond the kin of leaders of a major political party. But such resolution has failed to materialize. It was as if some unseen but strong force continues to stroke the members. Instead of calling a prudent ceasefire, too many people sought our destructive weapons against one another. Order, party discipline, and mutual respect went out of the window. Members instituted all manner of court cases, most of them destructive, some of them favorous, none of them necessary. In the process, a dense fog fell upon our party. When this matter first came to a boy a few months ago, I issued a statement against its litigious tendency. President Buari and the former interim chairman, Akinde, published strong words against this misuse of the courts as being contrary to the spirit of the party and the letter of his constitution. Each of us know nothing good will come out of such conduct. Instead of listening to this counsel, party members increase their trips to the court. Why busy providing ample livelihood for a gaggle of lawyers? This action casts the good of the party to the wind. After the first lead of lawsuits and countersuits, two National Working Committee members laid competing claims of the chairmanship, one legitimately elected at our national convention, the latter whose claim was based on the questionable suspension of the former. With lawsuits so numerous, one needed a spreadsheet to keep track. President Buari has reasonably decided that he has seen enough. I do not lament his intervention or its out outcome. I lament that the situation degenerated to the point where he felt compelled to intervene. He called on the NWC members to shield their swords and come together in order to win the upcoming Edo and Ondo state elections. He also stated that the former members of the dissolved National Working Committee can also be contest. In this vein, I appeal to all former members of the National Working Committee and all members of our party to shield their swords and look to the larger picture. We have governorship elections around the corner in Edo and the primary and elections in Ondo. On this important event, we must concentrate our immediate energies in the longer run. We must restore the, the collegial nature of the party so that it should be in the practice of coming to support the president instead of him having to rescue the party from himself. In Edo State, we must lie ar around our candidate, Pastor Osagi Iziamu. In this, Comrade Oshomori has a crucial role to play. I congratulate him for his loyalty to the party and our president in accepting the resolution of the National Working Committee. I encourage him now to return to Edo State to energize the campaign for the election of Pastor Iziamu.
you too can also become part of this discussion by dropping your opinion and what you think concerning this Tinibu's long speech at the comment section. But please do a subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell icon to get notified whenever we make a new upload. See you in my next video. Thank you.